Another podcast. It's been a little bit. Howdy. What's up? Here we are. Um, what are we talking about today? Talking about our uh, challenge. You're not supposed to call it a challenge. Did you listen uh, to the guy's podcast? No. <laughs> You're probably better off. No. Well, didn't, isn't his thing that he made it says 75 day yes, challenge? Yes, yes. Okay. I don't think it's called challenge. It's called 75 hard. <laughs> that sounds way worse. That sounds I way know, worse. I know, I know. It, it, I'll, link, I'll link it up. Um, the guy named Just, Andy Frisella, he has a podcast. He okay. yells at you the entire time. But nice. he's got a good idea. <laughs> Except for his name. <laughs> yes. But yes. <laughs> yes. Um, so, yeah, it's a challenge, right? It's a challenge to me. Yeah. yeah. What are you, how many days in are you? I, think, I don't remember. What's Six today? or seven. Wednesday? You started last Wednesday? No, it's Thursday. today, Wednesday. I started on Tuesday. Okay, so seven days. Yeah. Seven days in. Um, yeah. So, you're supposed to work out twice a day. Yep. If you're being really strict with it, one's supposed to be outside. But I really can't, I do work out twice a day, but I can't really always go outside because sometimes I train in the dojo, sometimes I'm in here. And it's yeah. like, I'm gonna work out for the time, but like, I, you know. I don't know. Sometimes I've worked out twice and the third one would be outside and I'm, that's too many. Yeah, I didn't watch whatever his thing was, but. It's all good. I think the reason I did it is I'm, I'm wanting to, get to a certain yeah. body weight and body fat and so I don't care about yeah well so if you're strict outdoor. it's two workouts a day one's supposed to be outside whatever okay. um, follow a diet yep so we'll talk about that in a second cool. uh, drink a gallon of water a day yep take a progress picture yep and read 10 pages yep and that's that's it for 75 days yep which doesn't seem hard but read 10 pages of and it's I think it's supposed to be like it's supposed to be nonfiction nonfiction and I read one where it's like an entrepreneurial type wow but I don't like I'm just reading I think, 10 pages of well like, I, think, I read it reading a biography right now I'm like well I think you know you could take almost anything as like if it's an interest of something of yours that you're wanting to do or something yeah like, you know what I mean? right yeah absolutely so like not reading something about like I don't know, the U.S. history if you have nothing that you want to do right. about that. Right, Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah. Um, so, I've, I mean, I think it's a mental toughness challenge, right? More so than a physical workout program. Because the workouts can be whatever. It's like whatever program you're doing. And one of them could be like running for 45 minutes, like walking for whatever. I think the idea is that you just, you say I'm going to do these things and then you do them for 75 days. Yeah. And that's the hard part. Um, because I've come very freaking close to not making six or seven days, you know. And the things, the things that's gotten me is the water. I had to like down like two liters of water before, right before bed, like shit. Well. Uh, and then um, the, the reading, actually. Because, you know, I don't read, like, it's not like I read right before bed. I don't read in like set times every day. There are days where I'll read like half a book. You know? Oh, wow, well, yeah. But, you know, and it's like the next day I won't because I spent time yesterday reading, so today I've got to spend time. So it's, you know, I don't know. To just like, oh, I better stop because tomorrow I have to get 10 more pages, you know, whatever. Or, you know, th those have been the, the hardest things for me. I don't know. What's been hard for you so far? Uh, I guess just remembering on Sundays to work out because I just really haven't. And I yeah. honestly kind of forgot about it. I was like, oh, it's Sunday. And Heather's like, I'm going in to work out with you. And I was like, oh, cool. Yep, I'm yep. going in. Yep. So I, honestly, I didn't even think about it. Because yep. I was like, oh, yeah, that's my normal get it done. day of not doing anything. So It's hard. Um, but yeah, I think that was. Uh, so it's going to be hard for me this weekend. Yeah. I'm, I'm at a, uh, a martial arts tournament. And I won't necessarily be working out 45 minute blocks, but I will be doing shit 12 hours a day. Yeah. So I'm going to count that. <laughs> well, know. yeah. I mean, I, I count, like, when I'm in here and training right. guys, too, I mean, we're literally doing nonstop work for four hours. So, yeah, like, it counts. You know. Yeah. I think the idea is to not be on your ass. I think it's also a little bit different between, like, you and me who are, like, living lives of right. doing this kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, I think yeah. it's made more for, like, 
hey, I'm someone that has a nine to five that I need to make sure like I get up and do something in the morning and do something when I get home at night. Yeah. So I'm making sure that I'm getting enough. Yeah, so yeah, my yeah, my alteration is like I just make sure I'm moving for at least forty five minute intervals. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I I've been able to do that pretty successfully. Yeah. I mean and really it's like four or five hours typically by the end of the day. I've done stuff, you know, physically mm -hmm. related. So what nutrition plan are you on? I'm not following anything in particular in terms of like, like a paleo or a, you know, a keto or South Beach or what's the one where you only eat meat? The famous name. Carnivore? Uh, yeah, whatever, something like that. Atkins. At or like some uh, shit like that or whatever. I'm uh, keeping it at 2,000 calories and I'm trying to be cl clean. You know what I mean? And it, it kind of helps because if I'm not, you know, like the food that's bad takes up way more calories, so it's less food throughout the day. So I'm mm -hmm. um, just trying to stay with 2,000 calories. And a um, little tip, I was talking to, I think it was Diane today. She was trying to figure out like calories and stuff. And you can go look online and stuff, but a rule of thumb that I found was take your body weight and multiply it by 12. That's right around where you should be. Yeah. So I did that and lowered it 2,000 calories. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think it's for like maintenance or whatever. Yeah. That, that works. So yeah, so that's what I'm doing. What about you? Yeah, I'm similar, just doing calories. Um, I'm using that Lose It app. Um, yes, and I'm using Lose It. So um, on Lose It, the first thing when you like log in about what you're wanting to do, you can put length of time mm -hmm. and then what weight you want to be at, and then it will tells you tells you what how, how many much calories. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. How many calories you yeah. can have, which mine's like a little under 1,700 a day. So it hasn't been, honestly, it hasn't been that bad, but the, like what I like too is that it tracks it also by the week. So my main thing is I want to hit it in the week because like right. Friday and Saturday I had more, mm -hmm. but I was under on Monday or right. Tuesday and Wednesday, but it all evened out and I'm right on the schedule. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, that can be kind of difficult. Um, I don't log it immediately when I'm eating it, I usually yeah. do it like the next day and, but I remember everything I eat because I'm eating pretty much the same kind of stuff, just generally healthy stuff, not taking, uh, only thing I'm really taking out is I'm just not doing any dairy. Yeah, uh, I, I, I'm doing that too. Just because dairy is so many calories too. Like dairy messes me up. Like, oh yeah, it messes me up. Like, um, I could do like ice cream, but like milk will just, this is not good. Yeah. But I love it. So it's really, that's, that's actually hard. But my main thing is, is like if you have a sandwich and it's 350 to 450 calories, you throw cheese on it, now it's like 500 to something. Right, you know? right, right. And so, like, uh, to me, it's just not worth it. So that's probably one of the, one of the bigger things that I took out, but it hasn't been as much of a problem as I thought it would be. I thought it would be more difficult, but. You don't really miss it. No, don't really miss it. Yeah, the cheese is, I don't really think about cheese too much, but um, yeah, yeah. I, I find that if I'm doing the calorie thing and I have to like, you know, I've had, I've always had trouble historically being very strict paleo, mm. right? Because sometimes I need shit that's not paleo, yeah. or at least my mind tells me I do. Yeah. And then it's like, well, you just fail, you know? But yeah. this, you can kind of wiggle around as long as you're keeping that caloric intake where you said it would be. Yeah. You know what I mean? You, you do pay the price later because it's less, less volume, I guess, you could get, you know. 2,000 yeah. calories of, like, lettuce is a lot more volume than 2,000 calories of a brownie. You know what I mean? Definitely. <laughs> you know? For sure. But, like, so, you know, you're like, oh, crap, I'm still hungry, but I'm out of calories because I had a hamburger for lunch. Yeah. But, even but oh, well. The, that's why, I, like, I think it was, I don't know, Saturday, I was just still hungry. Honestly, it's because we were putting that freaking goal yeah. up and work for 12 hours straight. Work yeah. so many hours and I was just exhausted and my body was beat up and tired yeah. and hungry and yeah. so uh, so I just ate more yeah. but again I like I, I went over that day but I was already under I think for 400 calories right. for the week at that point so right. it wasn't that big of a deal right. so that's what I like about at least using lose it too um, it helps you think about your eating cumulatively, yeah. which I, I think is 
when you're first sort of looking at dieting and, and changing your eating habits, you're very micro. You're very much like, right, this meal in particular has to be this way. Yeah. And, and I think that's part of the process, but if you can think about it in terms of week, like how did I do this week? I think one, it's easier, but it's a little, maybe a little more healthy for you mentally. Well, it's not so much yeah, stress and yeah. anxiety yeah. On, it, on each day. Like, like if you failed and you just give up, right? Because yeah. you just fucked up, yeah. right? Um, so it well, gives and, you a lot And over the course room. of a week of seven days, you're gonna have a day that's bad. It's not going your way, like you're, or you're gonna feel tired or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. You can sort of overcome that day. You're gonna have days that you're on, you know? You're gonna eat way less calories. You're gonna work out way more, yeah. you know? And it, it helps pick up the other days. And I like that too. That's why I like Lose It, is thinking sort of macro, you know, yeah. for the week. And I think it helps people too that have not, um, like that eat out a lot too because it already has all of yeah, Chick-fil-A, like any major restaurant, it has everything in there of what you ordered and the exact amount of calories yeah. and you can create your own food. So if you're at home and it's, you, you'll have to look at it one time, but once you create it once, if you're gonna eat reuse it again, it. Yep. you can reuse it. So it makes That's it really, helpful. really convenient mm -hmm. um, and useful. But yeah, even if you're not doing a challenge or, or whatever, just even logging a couple weeks to see how many calories you eat, especially if you drink, like it's going to show you. Yeah, where you are know, the calories going? Where how, are they coming from? How many calories yeah. you have and. Yeah. You'd be surprised sometimes where the calories come from. Yeah. I like think one thing that, um, not recently, but uh, I mean a few years ago that really surprised me was um, like trail mix. Mm -hmm. You know, cause it's like trail mix is healthy. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like a healthy alternative. But it is slam with calories. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like a handful of trail mix is like as much as a hamburger yeah. in terms of calories. You know, and you're just like eating the shit out of some trail mix and then you're like, fuck, that was 1,200 calories. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> what just happened? It's crazy some things that have a lot of calories yeah. and especially if you're into sweets, stuff like that, it's going to really show you. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, yeah. you know, <laughs> get a bag of candy, it's like 800 calories. And, and you zero might nutritional one, value. Yeah, you'll and you still eat be in one sitting, and you're still hungry yeah. afterwards. And you're then, still hungry while you're eating it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's and like, you're like, okay, well, that was basically half good. of what I should have ate in a day. Yeah. You know, that's not good. So it, it helps open your eyes to things, and maybe help you just be more cautious and think more about yeah. what you're eating. So I mean, I, I, was, I think more about it. Well, too. the last one that I left off when I was going through the things was no alcohol. Mm -hmm. so that's the last one is, is oh, no yeah. alcohol for 75 days, yeah. which almost got me because uh, I was grilling on Saturday and my wife came out with a drink and was like, made you a drink. And I was like, hmm. I was like five days in. I'm like, I'll just start over tomorrow. <laughs> like, I'm not yeah, in this sad. enough <laughs> to, to, it really, to really suck that bad. It's five days. I could just start over. Yeah. <laughs> but I didn't. One. I didn't. I smelled it. You know, yeah. it smelled really good. But I didn't, I didn't do it. Yeah, I mean, we talked about it too. After we put up that goal, yeah, was like, we mm, spent four days. Yeah, we'll start over. It was already <laughs> like 27 hours of work that we put into putting that thing up there. Yeah. It was hard not to just want to sit and drink a beer afterwards. But at the same time, it, you know, I, for me, this was a big thing that I wanted to do for a while, but it was the no alcohol for, I hadn't done it well, I've only done it for a week right now, but I had done it for a month or so every, mm -hmm. I think like every year I, I take like a month off mm -hmm. or so, but I hadn't done it as long as at least like 75 days since I did my first paleo challenge for 90 days where I didn't drink during then. Mm -hmm. But that's when I think around like seven, eight weeks into it, that's when I lost a right. lot of weight right. from, it's just getting all the toxins out from, yeah. Been drinking like stuff, shifting gears. That's when that was the last time I had a complete six pack with mm. no like body fat on me. I mean, it was. I and the funny thing is, I only have one picture like during that time. Oh, because I I never like took pictures of right. it. But my friend always sends it to me randomly. Like, we were just being weird. We were in college. We had like shaving cream on our face, so you couldn't even see my face. But I, <laughs> I had a complete six pack, and I was like, "Holy shit! I had a six pack back then." I didn't see, even when you said that, that earlier, I thought you meant you drank a full six pack. No, you were talking about yeah. I was no, like, like wait a second. Actually, I got had, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, 
and but that's what I want to get back to. Yeah. But I know like my big thing now is like drinking's just been a part of my twenties, and I'm trying to get to that point where I'm just right. not really a part of like right. what I do anymore. Yeah, yeah. So this is a good help. Yeah, good. It's not that part's not too hard for me. I don't really drink that much, but I do like I like the taste of beer. So yeah, you know, it's like kind of long for that taste. <laughs> yeah, no. I find myself thinking about it, even though I don't do it that often. Um, yeah, the working out part, that's the easy part. It's the mental part of doing this shit every day. That's, yeah. um, you know, I, I'm, I'm willing to think, I'm willing to expect like 20, 25 days in, it's going to be like, shit, you know, like, this is difficult. Maybe not, maybe at that point you're like, whatever, you know. Yeah, I think it, it just, it might depend on like, I think a lot of it depends on where you're at mentally with stuff and what you're wanting to get out of it. My goal is is really to have drinking kind of not be a thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've been changing my diet since working with Terrell. And I'm kind of using this to make sure that, because when you do smoothies, it's awesome, but um, you can have a lot of calories if you're yep. like having a smoothie with every meal, yep. right? Yep. Things like that. And I tried doing like no breakfast, but we trained for like you gotta have fuel. five hours, and and so I I gotta eat something. So I'm basically this is me trying to learn of what what does my body need mm -hmm. when I'm doing this kind of training and all yep. of this kind of stuff, and kind of seeing where it goes from there. Yeah. So um, I'm I'm hoping to learn a lot um, about how much I should be eating during this time and obviously trying to sustain like just not really having alcohol really be something part of every weekend right so if i can if i can get that out of it i'm, I'm hoping that and i feel get stronger with it then i i'm hoping that i something that i can do forever yeah i got a feeling that like do something this long you know at the end of it it's going to change you. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if, if, you, if you get through this and it doesn't change you, you probably didn't do something right. You know what I mean? Definitely. Like, there's just no way. 75 days is not forever, but it's a long enough time to build a habit. Definitely. Or to just destroy a habit, you know? I think. And that's yeah. probably why the guy said it at that length. Well, when I did that 90-day one, honestly, from then on, I, I pretty much, like, tried to eat as paleo as possible or... I would always choose healthier options. I stopped buying, that's, that's when I stopped buying like Cheez-Its or anything right, made right, by right. a shit company with extra right, crap in it. Right. And that was when I was 20 years old or 19 or whatever. So that, that got me to realize, oh shit, not doing that anymore. So I hadn't been, uh, we don't buy any of those things. So I've never right. bought any of those products. And, and that's the easiest I, way to get into it is just don't put it in your house. Mm -hmm. I mean, cause I know if it's in my house, it's getting eaten, you know? Well, what what helped during that is I learned about better like there's alternatives of the same things that oh, are yeah. a little bit more expensive yep. but one that does two things one if you want cheese it's right there are a healthier version of it that you can actually you can buy them at Publix now you can buy them yeah. everywhere I forgot the name of them but it's all paleo ingredients but one it's more expensive so one that limits me on snacking yeah you won't right? buy two boxes <laughs> yeah I'm not gonna I'm not gonna eat it every single day right, right? it's obviously not that nutritious right. it's mostly um, uh, like almonds and stuff like yeah. that. So it's high in fats and high in calories and stuff like that too. So uh, it just kind of helped instill good habits and the things that uh, are cheap enough to buy all the time, which is just meat and vegetables. You know, we, I got That's right. There's a reason why it's cheap. Yeah. Because it's shit. Yeah. That's why it's cheap. Well, those, yeah, those other yeah. things. But yeah, the meat and vegetables are about the same price, whether, I mean, yep. you know, in, you can buy good quality stuff at Publix that isn't right. that expensive right, right, too. Right. So that's true. Yeah, you're using the, um, using lose it, but are you using the app, track yep. your days? Yeah, that's what I do, I use that. Are you logging in every day? Because I skipped like three days and then it started like messaging me. I was like, are you being a little bitch? It messaged and I was like, me what? today because I didn't log <laughs> in anything like, from what? yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. But it talks to you, it's like, are you still doing this or are you just being a little bitch and forgetting to log <laughs> yeah. your shit? And I was like, it literally talks to you like that. Yeah. Like, okay, best. It's like, yeah, I got to do this every day. Myself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but that's the way the guy is on his podcast. It's kind of funny. Maybe you'll like it. Maybe you won't. Um, I think he's entertaining, but he he, can, he yells the entire forty-five minutes. It's yeah. Like, I don't know. How, I don't know how you get through forty-five minutes every day of like just yelling into a microphone, but 
Hey. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, some people that I think it's, I think the main reason it is it's just passion. trying to, yeah, it's passion, yeah. it's a wake up call. Right. Hopefully get people to change their mind about stuff. Yeah. Um, get in the habit of doing things. And yeah. again, I think it'll work for maybe like 10% of people. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, it, again, I think more of any of these challenges or blah, blah, blahs, whatever you want to call them. It's all just about where are you at mentally? What are right. you willing to give up in your life now? What how are you trying you to, yeah. How are you, where are you going to focus on yeah. in your life? And, and yeah, I mean, it, it's just like sacrifice of giving up stuff throughout my twenties. I didn't want to give up like drinking alcohol and all that kind of stuff all the time. Now it's just a different part right. of me. I'm, I'm want to focus more on what I'm doing uh, with work, things yeah. like that, spending my time on that. Uh, rather than uh, on leisure time and stuff like that. So this this is kind of helping bring it all together into one compact thing to get cool. me be more productive, be healthier, and all that kind of stuff. That's good. Yeah. Awesome. All yeah. right, well, if you guys uh, watching this, you're interested, you need some questions, or just want to bitch about however far you're in there and you're starting over or whatever, yeah. hit us up. You know, we're at the gym, but also you can message us anytime. So happy to help. All right, see you guys.